We are going to get started with our guiso by frying two chopped onions in two tablespoons of olive oil. And we're also going to be adding to this the two cloves of garlic, which are going to be minced. Now, when we have a transparent uh, looking onion like this, we are going to be adding our beef that it is diced, so a chunk of beef. So now that you've got your beef chunks in here, it is time to brown all of the chunks. So we're going to be cooking until everything is brown. Once your mince is all browned like this, it is time for you to add your grated carrot. And what we're going to do is we're going to stir the carrot and we're going to let it cook for about a minute with the minute, with the beef. We're now going to be adding our herbs, so we're going to start by adding some fresh oregano. You can also add a teaspoon of dried oregano otherwise. We're also going to be adding one teaspoon of mixed herbs. And we're going to be adding some salt and some pepper. We're also adding one teaspoon of paprika. So you're going to stir everything. And when ready, you are going to now be adding your chopped tomatoes. So we've got here a can of chopped tomatoes. And we're going to be stirring. And to this, we're going to be adding the stock. We are now going to also add some bay leaves and add half a pepper that has been chopped into small pieces. And then let it simmer for at least 20 to 30 minutes until it is reduced. Now that the uh, guiso has been cooking for about 20 to 30 minutes, it is time to add the pasta. Now the main difference between guiso and a normal spaghetti bolognese, for example, is that we cook the pasta in the actual sauce and not in water. Okay, so we're going to be adding um, our pasta and it has to be pasta that can actually absorb um, liquid. So uh, something like this would be perfect. Um, and we're adding 100 grams per person, but it can be 75 to 100 grams per person would be absolutely fine. Now, when you've added your pasta, you will notice that you're also going to need more liquid. So we're going to be adding a bit more water to this. And we are going to be cooking the pasta, okay, for, um, oh. so now we're going to cover it and we're going to let it cook until the pasta is cooked. It will take longer than normal for the pasta to cook. So if this pasta, for example, takes normally about 12 minutes, it may take about 15, 16 minutes or a bit more for it to cook.